Hello everyone and welcome to this playwright tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to handle the iframe in the playwright. So let's begin. First, let's understand about the iframes itself. For that, let me go to the browser here. And here, let me search for Internet Heroku app. So I'll just go to this one here. And here, we need to go to the iframe section. So let's scroll down. And here you will find a frames. Click on this one. And then we have nested frames and iframe. Just click on iframe here. And here you see that we have a text editor where you can go here and you can type something. Okay. So if I go here and inspect this one, so what you will see is that basically if I go here and inspect this particular thing, so you see that is inside the iframe okay so that's inside the iframe now iframe is basically a full flesh you know html inside a html basically what iframes does is that let me create open a paint here and let me explain you so basically uh, you have this complete page layout and this is your html right so this whole page is created using the HTML and your HTML actually uh, starts with the HTML tag and here it will end your HTML. Okay. So if I go back here and let you let me show you. So it's ended here with the hash HTML tag and it started with the HTML tag here. So the complete layout is basically a HTML, right? And if we want to create a sections of this particular page and if I go back here and for example if I want to have this particular area and so this area can be created in a multiple ways in the HTML but there's one way called iframe so if I talk about iframes itself so iframe okay so iframe is basically uh, HTML within HTML. So for example, this complete page has HTML starting from here and here and then we have HTML for this particular iframe. So starting with the HTML and then again closing with the HTML. So that is basically an iframe. So it will create a section within a page. And if I go back to this website here and you will see that so if I go back and let me find that iframe. So let me inspect this one again. And here you see that uh, this is iframe. And inside that we have a HTML tag and we have this closing tag. Right? So we have created a one section within a main section and both using the HTML tags. So this is known as basically, you know, iframe. And here um, iframe are a bit challenging when we actually try to automate using different tools but it's pretty much really easy when you are working with the playwright so uh, let me go here and let's go to the google.com and here type play write iframe or just go to the playwright website and from the playwright website let me show you so here um, we are using the JavaScript Node.js implementation. Just click on Docs here. And here, now just type iframe. And here you will see that we have different classes available here as well. So if I click on this one, this is basically a release node. And particular release, they have implemented this one. So let's click on this one. And here, playwright. 1.17 introduces frame locators right so using the frame locators simply what we need to do is that we need page dot frame locator we will locate the frame and inside the frame whatever we element we want to locate we will just locate that one and whatever the actions we need to perform we will perform that action so that's pretty much easy here and if i talk about this one so basically if I talk about this frame, so this is a frame and inside this iframe, we have this particular area. Okay. So 
using this approach let's go here and let me create one file here and let me name it as iframe.spec.js and let me copy some basic line of code from my previous scripts to save the time and let me change the name to handling iframes and the first thing is that we need to change the url so this is the url and, and let's go back here and provide this one here and let me remove this line of code from here and now um, if i go back to the documentation so say that uh, let's create a locator uh, create a variable and inside this variable we will be having this locator of the iframe and basically this is this first line is for locating the your iframe and the second dot locator is basically is using to locate the element so based on this approach we will be going here in this practical so here again await then page dot frame locator you see that this is the method here and inside this one we need to provide the locator of the frame and if i go back here and so this frame has an id so when we are writing the css we can send if we have an id so we, we will be using the hash and the name of the id okay so let me copy this one from here and then simply hash and the id now if i because now i need to write inside the the text editor okay so i need a locator of this particular text editor if i go here and this one so this is basically a body and again it has id so let me copy this id from here and let me go back to the registry of code here so now dot locator so now we are inside the frame and here we need this one with the hash again because it's the id and once we have this one what we can do is that as per the documentation const and let me name it as frame area equals to this one now using this frame area variable i would be inserting a text okay so again uh, the simple await then frame area dot and using the fill method we will be filling this one so i'm saying add tutorial y testing filter and after that so let me assert this one so await and we use expect to assert the things and here i will be providing the name of the variable here to to have dot to have then we are looking for the text so to have text and what text we are expecting here and text is basically this one which we are providing as a input here okay now uh, we are good to go with execution of this one and let me go here and open the terminal here and here simply uh, npx play write test minus g and name of the test so the name of test is handling iframes and here we need to provide this name of test here then we will be executing this in a headed mode so now press enter and see what happens so it should go to the website here and it should provide the text inside this yes so tutorial by testing funder and the session should pass successfully because the we have successfully able to input in this one right and if i go here and change the text from here just to it will actually fail the assertions and if we don't go to this frame and with the direct this one so it will again fail because when we are working with the iframes 
we need to go to that particular iframe and inside that iframe we would be handling those elements and their locators we will work with those locators okay thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial